Hey everyone, it's your friend Adam online. Just wanted to share with you guys some of my notes on using Airbnb versus using booking.com. And I'm going to explain a few things here. I also want to introduce you guys real quick before we go over the details. I'm going to show you guys my Instagram. So if you want to follow me over there and share the wealth, share the knowledge, this is my business page, Liberty Vacation Rentals on Instagram. And there's my personal Instagram, Tau of Adam, currently out by the Lake Powell area near Zion Canyon, the Grand Canyon. Absolutely stunningly beautiful out here. Highly recommend coming to visit sometime. But if you're a host like I am, uh, today we had a little issue actually with um, Airbnb and I saw someone mentioned, oh, I think I'm going to switch over to use booking.com instead. So what happened was uh, even though Airbnb allows a co-host feature, which you probably know if you're with Airbnb, you probably use a co-host. Um, I do. We have 10 listings, my lovely Jennifer and I. So Jennifer's my co-host, but they took away the split payout option, at least for future bookings. So there was some people upset about that saying we might go to booking.com instead. And I said, no, don't do that because I have already tried booking.com last year. And I'm going to tell you why I don't recommend it overall. There's there's only a couple advantages for booking.com. You get more noticeability on search engines, especially Google. A lot of travelers using um, TripAdvisor or just they go to Google or Yahoo. They say hotels near me or cheap hotels near me. And you will pop up among a list of hotels. So that's good if you have like a small business like Maybe uh, you have um, a multi-unit bed and breakfast or an apartment building you're using with Airbnb. So then it would be great, especially if you have someone to help check people in. Um, if you don't, there's a lot of disadvantages with Booking.com. Number one, the billing and tax remittance is not automated. So you will get a monthly statement, and then you have to mail a check or do an automated payment to Booking.com. And they actually keep you in a probationary phase for the first few months until you've made like three monthly on-time payments of your invoice to Booking.com. Booking will take 15% from you, the host. They take nothing from the guest. Customers could not show up after booking, and they have no penalty. You have no way to charge them, and your calendar got blocked out for that night, whereas you could have had somebody probably on the Airbnb side. So customers can flake uh, with no, you know, no recourse to you until after three months, then you can start collecting their credit card information. And even then people don't even enter their accurate credit card information or a competitor might put in a fake something to fake you out and make you think you got a booking and you didn't. Um, so that's a real problem. I had a couple no shows and I lost money where I could have made money with Airbnb because I was running both at the same time. And we'll talk about running both at the same time in a little bit here. Um, you also have to have a point of sale. So you're either going to take cash from the guest and get them a receipt or a check if you're willing to risk taking a check. But better you have a credit card swiper. If you don't have one, you get a square card reader. And hopefully that you don't lose that or break that because um, that would put you in a sticky situation. Also, the big one, I put a red X here, there's no guest reviews or government ID check with Booking.com. Anyone off the street, um, crazy or you know scammer, they, they could book, book with you. Oh, by the way, you also, when you collect their payment, that's on this previous um, note here, you also have to separately collect their deposit, whether you're going to take a cash deposit, damage deposit, or a credit card. Then you have to return their, de their refundable deposit to them, assuming they didn't break anything or steal anything. And it, with my Square Card Reader, it takes seven days for that deposit to go back to them. I guess that's standard, but some of my customers, it made them nervous. So the nice thing is Airbnb automates that deposit as well. Um, Another disadvantage, guests are more familiar with just using hotels than they use booking.com. They're going to expect you to be similar to a hotel. So something I've always had to do is explain to people. I message them and say we're a little different from a hotel. Um, and guess what? They usually do not reply on the booking.com message um, message service. Airbnb, people usually do reply. I can translate it very easily. Booking.com, they, they don't usually chat back and forth. Um, Another real, this is a real big one. I probably should have put a red X here. But if you cancel on a confirmed guest with booking.com, you, they have a policy that you have to pay for that guest to stay somewhere else. So if the nearest hotel is 250 bucks for the night, guess what? Booking.com expects you to pay for them to stay there if they can't stay with you because you made a mistake or you need to cancel for some reason. Airbnb will penalize you if you cancel on someone. Um, 
but you can often work it out. Um, so here's some of the advantages to Airbnb. The billing is automated. Woohoo. We love that. Um, I get direct deposits to my bank account or credit union or wherever I want to send the money, even to my PayPal. I can um, pay the, the, the percentage the company takes is split between the host and the guest. So depending, I think if it's under $100, you're paying around 6 to 12%. Don't quote me on this because this could change, but the, the point of this, this note here at the top is that the guest also pays some of the fee, right? And then the tax remittance is automated for your transient occupancy taxes. Another advantage, Airbnb is growing in popularity. You can get a bonus for sharing it with friends. By the way, my link is in the description below if you want to join Airbnb as a host and follow my channel here. Um, so uh, Airbnb is growing. That's good news. The app is more user-friendly, guaranteed. Uh, Booking.com, you can log in on, on the web um, as your administrator login, or you can download their app called Pulse. Um, I'm telling you, I've used it for several months. Um, it's a lot of headaches. I just had a better time with Airbnb. Um, you also have, have automated split payouts available under your settings menu now so if you do have a co-host or you want to send some money to your mom your grandma or someone a friend um, you can do that and then here's a big warning big caveat if you are going to run both airbnb and booking.com at the same time you will find under your settings there is an iCal calendar sync feature you will click on that and you'll have to copy and paste a string of code um, and you have to copy it from Airbnb and paste it on Booking, then take it from the one from Booking and paste it on Airbnb so the calendars sync up. This is still problematic, um, which is why I mentioned this thing here, um, because if two people request at the same time, the calendars are not going to sync up fast enough. I'm guaranteeing you this because it happened to me. That means you're going to have to tell your Airbnb guests, sorry, I already got somebody with Booking, or tell your Booking guests, sorry, I already got somebody with Airbnb. Either way, it's a fuster cluck, and you will be stuck canceling on somebody. You will get penalized, and it's a real headache. So even if you do use it, if you're slow, you might want to use it. If you're very busy, you're in high season, you have a lot of listings, then I would give you this warning and say, I don't recommend using both at the same time. I would, If you're going to try booking.com, for example, where you've already been with Airbnb, quit Airbnb cold turkey, put all of your listings on a freeze or on a, on a sleep or whatever it's called, and then go to booking, try it for a while, and then you'll come back to Airbnb because I just know you're not going to like it. <laughs> All right, so there's my take on the difference between Airbnb and booking.com. Please um, give a thumbs up and like the channel. If you guys ever want to come out and stay at my place, Liberty Vacation Rentals, out by beautiful Lake Powell. Let me show you guys some clips and images here. So beautiful, fun stuff with some guests. Uh, just because you saw this video, let me know. Give you 10% off. You should also follow the channel. We're close to Rainbow Bridge. Um, that was one of my guests jumping into Lake Powell earlier, doing some cliff jumping. Um, there's Horseshoe Bend. I'm standing on Daredevil Rock. There's my lovely Jennifer over by Worm Creek Bay. There's some of our guests. We rented a boat with them. We have a lot of fun out here. There's Zion Canyon with some friends as well. All right. Thanks for watching. Give a thumbs up. Subscribe for more good stuff. We'll see you guys soon. Peace.